Hello everyone, it's Kat and I am back today to talk about the stuff that I've used up and review it for you. Uh, so I've got quite a few products here. Here we go. This is my empties little tub and I'm going to go through every single one, let you know what I think about the product after using it entirely and whether or not I would repurchase it based on my experiences. So I'm going to dump this out and organize them into category. I just scared my cat off the bed. Sorry, Boogie. Um, and I will. Uh, let's start with makeup. Speaking of makeup, before I do continue, I'm going to get questions about this lip. And fair enough, because it is absolutely stunning. Uh, unfortunately, it is a limited edition, old limited edition, old collab, and from a brand that I don't like and don't want to promote, Voldemort. If you get, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I am, this is nearly dried out and, and nearly gone anyway, so I'll probably have to talk about it in one of these videos or declutter it um but before it does completely die i want to use it because it's stunning but i'm also wanting to find a dupe for it so yeah i love it it's beautiful but it's a shitty brand shitty collab it is what it is anyway makeup time let's talk about some base products i've got three base products i've used up um one is a sample this is the hd skin from Makeup Forever. I found it actually worked not too badly on my skin. Um, this was just a little sample from Sephora. Uh, wrong shade, quite nice. Probably not nice enough for me to then buy a full bottle, um, but I, I didn't mind it. What I did like about it though was um, it set on its own, so I didn't feel the need to powder the absolute bejesus out of it. Um, and my skin at the moment, I've talked about this time and time again on my channel, but my skin at the moment, I still have oily skin, but it's dehydrated. So I find that if I powder too much, it gets very dry. But if I don't have a foundation that sets, it sort of smears off my face. This was really good unset. Uh, when I set it, it was a little bit drier and looked a little bit flakier. So yeah, it's one that I'd consider in the future. I think I got two uses out of this, um, but that's that. Uh, I've got two foundations. This one is very nice, discontinued in Australia and has been for the longest time. It's a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Really nice for my skin at the moment. Uh, it's a nice amount of coverage. Uh, again, it's a nice natural finish. There's a little bit of hydration to it, um, but it's sort of a little bit set as well. So it, it suits my skin down to a T at the moment, but it's not available. And it's this one's old. I want to use it up because it's been around for like, I've had this for years and years and years, um, but I would repurchase it if it was available which it is not. Um, Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation. This is sort of like a, it's like a matte, but like medium coverage. It's supposed to be just very perfecting. I didn't mind this, but I found that it was one of those temperamental foundations. I also don't think it's around anymore. Um, so I'm not going to repurchase it, but I probably wouldn't anyway, because some days it looked really nice. Other days it didn't. And I couldn't really find the rhyme or reason behind why one day it looked great and the next day it looked horrible. Um, so it is a bit temperamental. I don't like temperamental makeup. I like consistency, something that I know that I can slap on every day and no matter the weather, no matter what I pair it with, it's gonna have the same result. And unfortunately that was not one of them. Uh, onto eye products. I've got a single eyeshadow from MAC. This is the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in Lorelei. Um, this was that sort of baked gel -A formula, um, similar to their highlighters and blushes in this range. Uh, and it was very nice. It was just your nudie sort of pink. I used it up. It was easy to use up. I used it almost as a highlighter sometimes as well. Just really pretty sort of uh, slightly rosier nude. Uh, and I just would put this on even with my fingers. I'd sometimes have this in my makeup bag that I'd take to my parents' place. If I didn't have a brush, I'd just put it on with my fingers, rub it on. And it was just like a little something on the eye. Uh, I probably... It's not available, so I can't repurchase it, but I wouldn't anyway, because it was very basic. And I feel like for MAC prices, especially extra dimension sort of um, formula prices, this is probably too simple and basic. Uh, you can get something like this from Revlon or Maybelline really simply, but it was a very, very nice color and um, easy to use. Uh, I used up this uh, it's like a retractable eyeliner from Colourpop and this was from the Raw Beauty Christie line uh, collaboration, whatever. Uh, this was sort of like a, what kind of colour would this be? It was a brown. Uh, I would call it a warmer toned brown. It was a little bit, 
I don't know, reddy, orangey. Uh, I didn't mind it. I think it was too warm for my waterline, which is what I often use pencils for, is uh, to fill in my waterline. Um, and it sort of looked a little bit, I feel like when, when browns have a lot of red tone in them, they can make your eyes look a little bit like unwell. So I, I use this just to use it up in my project pan. Um, I don't mind the formula. Uh, it did break at the end, so it can be a little bit delicate. Um, but yeah, wouldn't repurchase, but it was usable. For makeup adjacent products, before we get into skincare, um, I used up a lip balm. This is the Lip and Body Treatment Balm from Paula's Choice. So this is a multi-purpose product. I mainly just use it as a lip balm, maybe on my cuticles sometimes, maybe on my elbows occasionally. Um, I didn't love this as much as my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I think that actually does a better job at hydrating my lips. Um, and I also didn't like this as much as my... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Lanolips 101 ointment. So I wouldn't repurchase this. Uh, I would just keep repurchasing those. So that's what I'll do if I want a multi-purpose product. The Lanolips one is great. If I want something that's going to make my lips hydrated over the night, I think the Laneige one is great. Uh, this one was fine, but not at a level where I'm like, yeah, I... I need to repurchase this and buy three of them. It, it's not, not that level. Um, I also used up, and this was just today, I used up my Isocol rubbing alcohol. So this is isopropyl alcohol. Uh, this is just a brand that you can get in the supermarket in Australia. You can get it at the chemist. You can get different sizes. You can get little like travel spray ones. I like to use this um, to clean, like spot clean makeup brushes. Um, usually I do like to do a deep clean once every I say a few weeks and then it ends up being a few months uh, but in between if I want to use a brush I will wash it with uh, I'll spot clean it with isopropyl alcohol um, I also use this for many things like uh, if I ever do gel nails which I haven't in a long time I'll use this to remove the top layer um, I will use this to sometimes if I've got makeup mess on uh, my desk where I do my makeup. I will sometimes use it on a rag and just sort of wash it. So I use this for many things, uh, even um, disinfecting certain makeup. So I love it, I, I miss it. I went to go use this today. There was a little dribble that came out and I'm like, damn it. So uh, I will definitely repurchase this and I will repurchase it as a priority. I'm gonna put it on my shopping list because that's how much I love it. Uh, another thing I used up, uh, I used up a fragrance. This is just a little travel size. Uh, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I had this in my overnight bag that I leave at my parents' house and I miss it. I like it, I've got the full size. Uh, it is it is nice, I like it. So yeah, I got this um, in a, a an advent calendar last year. I liked it so much, I bought the 100 ml bottle, so yeah. Uh, I have repurchased that. Onto skincare, I'm going to talk about some serums. I've got three serums here. This lighting is really not the best, sorry. It's very sunny outside, so it is sort of washing out some of these products, but um, these are all serums. I've got the AHC365 Red Serum. Um, I quite like this. It's quite like a gel serum, so it's quite hydrating. It's supposed to have antioxidants. It's supposed to be anti-aging. Um, it's quite nice. You can get these at Priceline. It's a Korean brand. I probably wouldn't repurchase necessarily this one straight away, but I'll try more from the brand because I do like the brand and they often have like 40% off, but this one I'm not like married to. It's a very, I like the red sort of shiny tube. It stands out really effectively in the bathroom. Um, but uh, yeah, the serum, I wasn't like amazed by, but I am more, I am curious about what else the brand has to offer. Um, all right, let's go Dermalogica. This is the Circular Hydration Serum. I really like this. I want this in a bigger bottle. I just find Derm Dermalogica a little bit expensive for what they are, but I found this was really nice, especially in winter where I had dehydrated skin. I was sort of layering a lot of hydration products, especially at night. This was very nice and very effective. I would repurchase this. I think it did leave long lasting hydration and did help my winter skin. So I like that. Uh, the La Roche-Posay Rosaliac AR Intense. Uh, this is sort of like an anti-redness or correcting redness serum. I think I left this in my cupboard too long. I think it actually changed color and I don't think it did anything amazing. I was a bit scared to use it. So um, I used it a couple of times. I'm like, oh, is this causing some, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not judging this product based on my current experience because I had it in my cupboard 
probably opened for a while. I end up using this in my body just to use it up, but um, I love La Roche-Posay in general, but I am a little bit hesitant to buy this either because it goes off quickly, quicker than a normal serum or because, oh yeah, I don't know, undecided, but that's gone. An SPF I used up recently. I really like this one. I would repurchase it. Uh, it is the To Save Face SPF 50 Plus Brightening Sun Serum. So it's by Mecca Cosmetica. I have the To Save Face original out at the moment is what I use. Uh, it's in a tube and it's a little bit thicker. It's more like a cream consistency rather than a serum. This is more of a serum consistency with like a dropper. I loved the smell of this. Like some people don't like fragrances and I totally get that. And this doesn't have heaps of fragrance, but there's something about it. It's got this sort of aquatic, fresh, watery that I really like. Um, I really liked the product. I really hated the packaging. Um, so I would repurchase this, but I want to see it in something like this with a pump. That's what I want to see. Um, or even something like this with a squeezy tube, like a little, little squeezy tube, because this dropper is absolutely annoying firstly sometimes you'd find that the lid wouldn't catch and you actually can't twist it on and put it and like tighten it on properly but the main issue over time was that when you do start using it up and it's getting quite low and you're trying to pump it up but it's not picking up much product um, what you end up having to do is pour it out like this and tap it out which is fine but then you have so much product at the top that when you go to put this back in it goes and explodes out so i really liked this sunscreen it was thinner and dewier than the original um, had a nice scent it gave a bit of a glow it sat really nicely under makeup i would say this is a really good winter one so if you've got normal slightly drier skin you would love this um, but if you do even like me and you've got slightly oilier skin um, in winter where i'm dehydrated i found this to be a really pleasant spf i just hate the packaging hate the packaging, love the product. So that is what I think about that. I used up this cleansing balm from Enbachi. Uh, it is the Calm Reset Cleansing Balm. Uh, this was very nice. It worked very well. It's just very pricey. Um, and I, for my oily skin, I don't think it was the best cleansing balm I've used, but it was very nice. So other cleansing balms that I like to use, uh, Pharmacy, for example, has a really good one. Um, I dig a little bit out, I warm it into my fingers and it melts into the skin like an oil and removes my makeup really well. This one was more of that balm where you have to sort of massage it in to really sort of melt down. Um, and the whole purpose of that, which I understand, is to give yourself a little bit of self-care at the end of the day. So you take that minute or two to massage it in and really work it in. For me, I don't want to do that. I want to remove it as quickly and efficiently as possible. So that sort of step um, I didn't actually appreciate. I want it to sort of break down instantly like an oil does or like a um, cleansing balm to oil does. Um, also, this one being a little bit more of that balmy consistency, it did leave a little bit of residue on my skin and I usually double cleanse, so that's not a problem. Um, but this would probably be suited for people that like that little bit of a, um, I don't know, film that it leaves on the skin because it is hydrating for you. For me, that could be occlusive. I find that with oily skin, that sort of layer makes me think that I couldn't start breaking out from it. So um, even though I did double cleanse religiously, uh, it's not a feature that I personally love in a cleansing balm. Also, this was more expensive than what I normally sort of uh, buy. So I liked it, I enjoyed it, it worked very well, but it's not my favorite cleansing balm, so I wouldn't repurchase it. Uh, I will keep this jar though. It does have a label that I can pull off, which I will do right now. Um, so you can pull it off and then you end up with just this beautiful, glass jar and I actually went to um, a launch event for it and I got an engraving on it so now I can refill it with whatever I want. Uh, it says mummy's face cream and I'm just going to put whatever I want in there uh, and that's it. So I'm going to keep that which I think is a cool idea. Another cleansing product, I've used up my little um, Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This is a cleansing oil. It's very nice. It works very efficiently. 
um, and I had this in my overnight bag at my parents place. I am actually planning on popping out the insert here so it's got a little squeezy hole thing um, and actually refilling that with a cleansing oil I have at the moment um, just so I can take this and put it back in my overnight bag. I think this little mini was super handy. The product itself was very effective at removing makeup. I do think Dermalogica is a smidge too expensive. They need to like reduce their prices a bit um, but I liked it and I'm keeping this container because it's great. Also yes, my foundation does not match my body. I know that, I'm aware, but I'm trying to use it up anyway. Mini moisturizers. Uh, I have one from Paula's Choice. This is the Probiotic Nutrient Moisturizer. This stuff was gross, gross. It's very, like, I'll try to get some out. It's like phlegmy, jizzy, uh, gross, snotty. Um, the consistency was not nice. They've dis discontinued this product, which is fine. Look at this. Oh, yuck. It's gag worthy. It is absolutely disgusting. I also found that it sort of pilled up. Ooh, oh my God. I don't even want, I'm like, I'll rub it into my hands, but I don't want to look because I just feel like I'm rubbing like boogers, like phlegm into my hands. I, it smells bad. Um, I think it does do good stuff for your skin, but this was a thing that again, I had in my overnight bag and I used it in the evenings. Um, and I, I wouldn't use it during the day because it would, um, potentially clash with my base and make it pill up. So I'm, I understand why they discontinued this. This is not a great product. I think the effect of it is good, but it, there's so many barriers to entry with this. It's just gross. It's just, you're hella nasty. I've got two bougier ones. This is the Toucher Dewy Skin Cream. I really loved this. I am thinking of buying the Dewy Skin set that, from the Christmas pack. It's sold out online, but I might go down and buy it in store because I really enjoy this. I think it is very hydrating and it's very good for my skin at the moment. I wake up the next day and my skin feels quite hydrated. So I really like it. I think the experience is really nice. It smells nice. It's sort of got a, a slight citrusy sort of skincare. Oh, I just like it. I really, I, I, my skin gets along with Tatcha. It's just very expensive. So um, yeah, this one, I'm looking at repurchasing the Christmas pack because it's better value. Um, and I do really like this range. I've tried a full size one of these. I really enjoyed it. And this mini, I sort of squirreled away because I also really enjoy it. Um, I also really enjoyed this. This is the Estee Lauder uh, Reed Nutriv Ultimate Diamond Transformative Energy Cream. This was next level, next level. It's one of those creams that like in Australia, it's like $700 for the full size. I got this in an advent calendar. I understand why I wouldn't pay the money, but I can tell you that I would use this at night and I would wake up and my skin looks just a little bit more like, I would notice a difference. It is worth the money if you have it. I don't have that kind of money to spend on a moisturizer, so I will not do it but I understand why people like it. I understand. Last face product that I'm gonna be talking about. Yeah, and then I'm gonna be talking about body and hair. Um, I've got this, what is this? This is the Skin Proud Frozen Over Gel to Ice Hydrator. It's essentially a gel moisturizer. So, you know, one of those clear gels. Uh, there's none in here to show you. Very little here. I don't know if you can see, clear gel. Um, and what was very cool about it was that it actually had a cooling effect on the skin. I don't think it was, uh, it was very thin and it was very cooling, which is nice if you've got puffiness, that might help. Apparently you can also put this in the fridge and get an extra sort of cooling effect. For me, I don't feel like I've got a lot of puffiness, so I didn't really bother with this. I mainly used it as another layer of hydration when I had sort of very dehydrated skin. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this. But if I was really, really oily and it was summer and I wanted something cooling on my face before I went to bed, maybe. But as my skin's getting older, I actually need something that's a little bit more nourishing and thicker. Um, but it, it was fine. It was fine. Quickly with hair, I used up two shampoos. Uh, one is a Living Proof Full Shampoo. I talked about the conditioner a couple months ago. I really like this range. It's just far too expensive. Since buying them in Australia, they've gone up $10 each bottle and they were expensive when I bought them. Now they're ridiculous, ridiculously expensive. What I do like about this range though, is it gives a lot of volume to your hair without um, sort of stripping your hair. I find that um, often these volumizing products sort of make your hair feel really dry and sort of wiry and frizzy. Whereas this range didn't do it. The conditioner also was very nourishing, but and detangling while also 
allowing your hair to have volume, which I find very hard to find. Often you find conditioners that do the conditioning and the nourishing, but they weigh your hair down or you find the ones that claim to be volumizing and they don't actually detangle or condition at all. All, they, all you do is just smear stuff through your hair and hope for the best. This range was actually very good for um, nourishing and allowing volume, um, but it's very expensive. So I wouldn't repurchase that. Uh, I have actually repurchased, not quite this one, Shuramura Cleansing Oil Shampoo. This was the Gentle Radiance Cleanser. So this was the one in, it was like um, yellow. The product was yellow. Uh, so this isn't like an oil cleansing shampoo. Now, I found the best use for this was as a double cleanse. So if you've shampooed your hair, but you feel like you've got a buildup, of like um, hair product or hair oil or whatever. Um, I went in with this as a second cleanse and it sort of was a really gentle way at sort of uh, clarifying your hair. So I only use this a couple of times, maybe like once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I did repurchase a different version, like a blue bottle one, um, when Shuramura uh, was exiting the international market. I've had a few people tell me that Shuramura Art of Hair is still in the Australian market and international national market because they've seen it on um, some shops that previously sold the whole range. They only have excess stock left. So if you see a couple of products still on there, that's because they're waiting to sell. But unfortunately, Shuramira Art of Hair has completely removed itself from the Australian market. I think UK, I think many different international markets. So when I saw that that was happening, I stocked up on one of these in a different format. I'll show it to you actually. This is the one that I have under my sink uh, to replace it. So it is the anti-oil astringent cleanser for oily hair and it's got yuzu citrus in it, yum. Uh, I just decided to try that because I do have oily roots. Um, so yeah, same kind of principle, just a slight tweak of it. Um, and I look forward to using this and it'll be the last time I can access it. So. I love you, Shuramira, I miss you. I wish you were around more. Uh, last hair product I used up was, oh, I should actually talked about this in conjunction with Living Proof because it's a Living Proof hair oil. This is the Frizz Vanishing Oil. Stops frizz and adds healthy shine. Yes, it does, but it also weighs down my hair a little bit. Um, I've got other oils that I can put in quite liberally to manage the frizz and reduce the frizz without sort of making my hair look dirty. Um, one that is an example, and again, this is under my sink, it's the Shuramira, um, this is the Nourishing Protective Oil. Again, I bought this when I saw that it was exiting the market, and I've got that under my sink waiting. Um, I also really like the husk ones, so um, I've got that out at the moment. So I'm trying to use up these sort of fancy hair oils that I don't actually like all that much. I've got um, an Olaplex one that I'm trying to use. I've got a JVN one that I don't really like that I'm trying to use up. So before I do open this one, I'm trying to sort of get through some of my hair oils that I don't really enjoy. And this was one. So I wouldn't repurchase this. I'm sure it works. I think if you've got thicker hair than I do, you might like it. Um, but my hair is quite thin and it's quite uh, non-porous. So when I do add something to it, if it does uh, it doesn't, if it's not something that's quite lightweight, it really weighs down my hair. And this one uh, tended to do that a little bit. Body products, let's be quick about this. Uh, I used up two hand washes. They are both very nice and I would repurchase both of them. This is a Bath and Body Works uh, hand wash. It's one of those foaming ones. It's from the White Barn collection and the scent is Kitchen Lemon. I love this. This was so good. The scent notes are zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and an Italian bergamot. Oh, oh, just love it. I love the smell of this. I enjoyed it. I had it in my kitchen and oh my God, I love it. If you like citrusy things, you will love this. And what I loved about it and why I think it makes sense in the kitchen is if you have hands that smell like garlic or onion, this sort of citrusy smell just cuts that entirely. You wash your hands with it and that scent is gone. So I really enjoyed this. I would totally repurchase it. The only hesitation I have about repurchasing it as well as this one is that I've gone and I've bought um, sort of uh, reusable packaging uh, for all the bathrooms. So uh, it's like a aluminium uh, hand wash container and I, you can just buy refills and fill it up. So I want to minimize packaging if possible. So I am trying to do it that way. So that limits what I can, I can't really buy this in the sort of uh, foamy version if I've got a different pump. And I would actually just prefer to buy this scent 
in a traditional hand wash in like a pouch or something that I can pour and top up my current bottles that would be great but um yeah I did really enjoy this I also quite enjoyed this one now I got this from iHerb I was placing an order and I thought look to get to free shipping I'm just going to browse around and I found this yuzu lime with olive and argan oils it's a liquid soap from France for hand and body and uh, it looks like the brand is a la mason this was quite nice it wasn't as punchy with citrus as um that kitchen lemon one but it had definitely more of a limey yuzu vibe which was really nice and I had this in my bath like my downstairs toilet and I really enjoyed it so I would if I was placing an order for, for iHerb and again <laughs> I want these in pouches that I can refill my current bottles so I don't have to buy these bottles every time um, but I would repurchase that I did enjoy it and it lasted quite a long time uh, in terms of body moisturizing products um, I we used up the, I'm saying we because this is a collective usage uh, the Bioderma Atoderm cream uh, this is ultra nourishing cream my partner likes to use this on his face uh, he gets eczema, he likes to use it on his body, and um, I also sometimes use it on my legs. It's very nice. It's something that we always have. We've got two bottles in the bathroom as we speak, one that's being used up and one that is to replace that. So this is something that my household uses, predominantly my partner, but he approves and always wants to go back to this one. So that is a good recommendation. Uh, I also used up the Soul Body Vanilla Dream Body Cream. So this is like a body butter from Soul Body, which is ColourPop's sister brand that sells body products i didn't quite like this it was just didn't feel very high quality and it had this like really sort of plasticky obnoxious vanilla scent to it i literally just used it to use it up uh, i don't really like soul body products the stuff that i've used i'm just not super happy with uh, and then lastly i've got three sort of baby products bath products um this is from gaia natural baby so the sleep time bubble bath we used up and also the aloe vera and ylang ylang hair and body wash i quite like using this on my kids because it means you can use the body wash and shampoo in all in one uh, so hair and body yay one product but it's also quite gentle um, my baby has eczema my eldest doesn't uh, so I have to be careful with what I use on them uh, and speaking of eczema I really like to add this to the bath I think it makes a big difference uh, this is the uh, QV baby bath oil so it's not a baby oil that's like greasy and like um, leaves a layer on top of the bath this is more like your cleansing oils that break down and emulsify so when you add this to the bath it makes the bath very milky but it makes the bath more hydrating so if you do have kids that have um, dry skin or if you have dry skin and you want to add something to that that nourishes the skin a little bit more I love this um, and annoyingly I can only really find it at chemist warehouse so I've got to go to chemist warehouse and buy more but I will buy two bottles of it because we go through it quite regularly um, and I really uh, recommend it you can find a lot of baby oils for babies but not bath oils so if you put the baby oil in the bath it will just sit on top of the bath in little droplets and just make everything slippery whereas this doesn't do that this like uh, incorporates like a milk and just nourishes the the skin which is great so this one highly recommend and that's that's it that's me done so i'll list all the products i talked about in the description box so if you missed any names if you've used up any products recently that you can highly recommend i would love to hear about them in the comment section and a big thank you to my channel members for helping me create this content and supporting my channel so i'll see you all in the next one have a great day Mwah!